So Ayurveda explains Trayopastamba, the three pillars of health or the triads of health. The three pillars of health explained in Ayurveda are Ahara, Nidra, Brahmacharya. They are Trayo, three Upastamba pillars. The, they are the three pillars of health. So Ahara, we know the food. Nidra and Brahmacharya comes into the context of Vihara. That is, among the Vihara, Nidra and Brahmacharya have been given special preference when Ayurveda explains about the three pillars. So what sustains a human being is Ahara and Nidra. They are two important topics. That is why we had a short discussion about these two topics just before getting into this 16-week session. So we will be getting into the details of it in a very deep fashion or in a very deep way. We will be getting into the details of Ahara and Nidra. And Brahmacharya, many a times it is translated as celibacy. It is not just a celibacy. It is a, a, a proper uh, use of the Indriyas. We will be discussing about that. It is not just celibacy. Ayurveda does not recommend everyone to be a celibate. So, according to the ashrama that we are in, we have to follow the, the rules or the regimen of that ashrama in uh, Brahmacharya ashrama. Or We will be discussing about that, not to get confused. The reason of bringing this information is that among the three pillars of health, these are the most important triads of health, of which we can see Ahara and Nidra. So you can see the importance of the food and lifestyle which are supporting the health. So if this Ahara, Nidra, Brahmacharya or in other words, Ahara and Vihara is not proper, you're not, your health is not supported, you are prone to have diseases. And in the modern context, we are forced to understand that we are forced to see a fourth pillar, an imaginary fourth pillar, that is Ahara, Nidra, Brahmacharya and Vyayama. Because exercise has become, has gone to two extremes, either overdoing or sedentary. These are the two extremes that we see. We don't see moderation. We also had a small 90-minute discussion on exercise. I hope you, all of you would have watched that too. Of course, we are going into the details of that also. So we are seeing an imaginary pillar of exercise. The fourth imaginary pillar of exercise, which is essential in the current day scenario. In those days, in the age of Ayurveda, Vyayama need not have, we need not give such, they need not give such a emphasis on Vyayama because Vyayama was a part and parcel of the daily living, but not now anymore because of mechanization and scientific inventions. We have become so lazy. So Vyayama has gone out of our daily living. Have, there is no necessity to walk or exert everything for everything. We have a machine to do. So our, the daily exposure to Vyayama has been totally taken off. So we have to see Vyayama as a fourth imaginary pillar. So uh, a quote by T.S. Eliot. Where is the wisdom we lost for the sake of knowledge? Where is the knowledge we lost for the sake of information? So in the search of, in the search of information or in the search of knowledge, we lost our wisdom. The wisdom has been lost when we started searching our knowledge. And that knowledge is lost when we started searching for information. So now, especially in this Google era, we are all behind information. We have, we, we have information at the tip of our finger. But with this information, our knowledge is lost. And as we got tangled with this knowledge, the wisdom has been lost. So this is an apt, though this is a very old quote, this quote has become so important and so valid 
in the current era where every one of us are behind information so we are very clear with the 16 day 16 week course that our intention is not to give information that is definitely not the intention if you are expecting to have information about what should i do give me some list of things i should do give me some list of things that i shouldn't do give me the list of good things list of bad things list of good food list of bad food i will follow give me vata diet pitta diet tamasic food rajasic food i will avoid or i would take if you are looking for such kind of an information or such kind of uh, uh, what do you call it? such kind of uh, knowledge to be shared then this is definitely not your expected uh, course so basically we will be focusing on the wisdom of ayurveda so there is a holism associated with this um in the modern era as i told you this information many a times this information has created a lot of trouble and lot of uh, uh, miscommunications for example in about ayurveda if you try to google search about ayurveda the amount of information that you get about it is unbelievable and people are following those ideologies depending people are following the ideologies based on the information that they get about ayurveda in the internet but the frank truth is that this information available in the internet has totally killed ayurveda so we have to revive the killed ayurveda actually speaking and our parent organization ayurveda pharmacy all of you must be knowing uh, krishna kumar ji who recently attained the sadgati the aim of krishna kumar ji and aim of the organization was to share or bring out the authentic ayurveda to the global forum so we were uh, proud disciples or proud students of ayurveda pharmacy or krishna kumar ji's uh, thought process and and that is one of the reasons for us to be here to bring authentic ayurveda to the forefront so there can be many uh, obstacles that we might face or uh, negative uh, uh, criticism that we can get from people who are looking forward for instant solutions we have experience because we are doing it not uh, for the last few years it has been this mission has been carried for the last 40 50 years and it is still going on and people have seen lot of uh, obstacles and lot of negativity mainly because of the search of information search of handy information and search of handy solutions so we will definitely break that and we will be in a position to make this authentic information or authentic knowledge practically applicable in their daily in everyone's daily life that is going to be the aim of this 16 week course